Well, that was fun while it lasted, folks, because a new adpocalypse is pretty much here. You know, it's not fully in effect yet, but uh, some major ad partners of YouTube are beginning to pull out. You know, Disney, Nestle, Epic Games and Fortnite, just just a couple little companies, right? Some mom and pop shops, no big deal. God only knows how much money they spend on advertising on the platform that's now gone, but uh, it's chump change, right? So if you're somehow unfamiliar with this whole thing, uh, there, there's a new scandal going on here on YouTube that is basically causing the second adpocalypse. There's been some questionable content on YouTube involving the sexualization of minors and things like that. You know, it's been a problem for a long time. We already had things like Elsagate pop up in the past. We've, we've known that there's a problem with this kind of stuff on YouTube for a pretty long time. And in YouTube's defense, they've been working to fix it for a pretty long time. Okay, they took a little bit of action after Elsagate, and, and I'm sure that they're not just like, oh, let the pedophiles run things here on YouTube, you know? I'm pretty sure once they see this stuff, it, it's down. But not if your Matt's what it is. Because this guy just shows up out of nowhere. And he makes a video and he exposes this whole thing in 20 minutes. Shows some examples and stuff like that. Gets 2 million views. Dude blows up. He causes a massive controversy. The mainstream media has started to pick up on it, just like the first Adpocalypse. Big ads are starting to pull off of the platform. And, uh, yeah, it, it's got pretty much all of YouTube in limbo right now, because, let's be honest, Matt, you wanted some clout. Now, thankfully, this dude is getting completely shit on by everybody, and deservingly so, because his mentality is just so stupid, and, uh, he makes it so obvious that he mostly cares about the clout that he's getting from it. I'm just saying, dude... You know, you've only made like eight videos about the whole thing. Your only content is surrounding this. You're making like four hour streams. You've already gotten into the mainstream media. You've already basically caused an apocalypse. There's not much more you can really do, but you just keep going. And here's the crazy thing about all this, okay? Matt seems to care a lot, okay? And, and I will admit, yes, this is a problem. It's been a problem for a long time. I've talked about this in the past. You know, a lot of YouTubers have, have brought this up before, but Matt cares so much about these pedophiles on YouTube that, okay, what do you think he does, folks? Do you think that he actually, you know, reports the content that he's exposing? That way YouTube can get a, a, you know, heads up that it's happening and then they can actually take action on it? Do you think that's what Matt's doing? Do you think that Matt is actually reporting this content that way something can be done? Of course not. That would only, that would make sense, right? That way YouTube actually knows what's going on and they can actually police their platform? No, Matt, Matt isn't going to do that. And, uh, what do you think he does, though? He, uh, basically just takes it, and then he shows it to all these advertisers, and he's having people blow these advertisers and the mainstream media up with this hashtag YouTube wake up. And, uh, yeah, he, he's basically blackmailing them and getting them to pay all this attention to him. And he's gained 26,000 subscribers from it, so... He's gotten some clout, and he's making, you know, four hours of content about it a day at this point, so, you know, Matt's... Matt's getting the attention he wants. Thankfully, it's mostly negative because this guy is a douchebag who is purposely, you know, misleading advertisers. That way he can pretty much hype himself up and get credit. But the reason that I say that is number one, like I said, he's not reporting the content that he sees. He's not having people report the content that he's showing or finding it and reporting it. No, they're not doing anything like that. They're just ruining the livelihoods of everyone else who's completely unaware of the problem or not involved in the problem or not even like perpetuating the problem by viewing it and sharing it, right? 99.99% of YouTube creators have nothing to do with this problem, but uh, your boy Matt is causing pretty much 100% of YouTubers to suffer consequences because of it. And in Matt's mind, that's all okay. His mentality is, well, YouTubers should be fine with basically losing a large majority of their income if it means that the pedophiles are stopped. While completely refusing to acknowledge that he could actually have all the pedophiles stopped without affecting anybody's income, and that he he just gets more clout when he does mess with everyone's income because, well, you know, that, that's what you do, right? And here's the reason I know this, because I've dealt with this firsthand. Twitter was having a huge problem with pedophiles showing up pretty much everywhere. They, it was becoming ridden with them. I made a video about it, I exposed the problem. Did I then go to all the advertisers who were advertising on Twitter and tell them, you know, you're being advertised on, on these pedophiles' as tweets or in their Twitter feeds and things like that? Did I do that? No, I don't remember doing that because that wouldn't solve anything, and if anything, that's just the wrong thing to do because, well, people who aren't complete, who aren't even involved are the ones who get affected. What ended up happening was the community who watched that video banded together on Twitter and in the Discord, and uh, they hunted down pedophile profiles, right? 
and they they systematically reported hundreds of these accounts. Hundreds of pedophiles on Twitter were taken down in a matter of like two days by the community who watched that video. I was proud. I was happy. I was like, oh my god, you know, that's a pretty good impact, you know? 100, 100, 200, 300 pedophiles gone. That's pretty good, you know? They, they did a great thing, and I was glad to see that. Did it become some mega controversy that I decided to then milk for nine videos in a row? Or in nine live streams in a row? Probably not, because, well, there surely isn't any other content based on it. See, because I actually cared about the problem, and I didn't care about basically getting my name in every newspaper on Earth, okay? Like Matt does, because that's why he's going to the mainstream media and stuff like that. Because YouTube's already addressed the issue. They have already literally said that tens of millions of videos have had comments removed Regarding this situation, tens of millions have already been wiped and are being affected, okay? So, do you think Matt is telling people that that's happening? Do you think Matt is perpetuating the, uh, the cleanup YouTube is trying to do? And this is actually one time where I have to stand by YouTube, because they're being pretty transparent about it. They've admitted that it's something that they're trying to work on, and they've actually given statistics behind it. But do you think Matt is going to these uh, advertisers and to the news saying, hey, thankfully YouTube's really working this one out, guys. There's not really a reason to, to panic anymore, you know? YouTube's taking action. You know, you can put your ads back up. They're, they're trying to solve the problem. Because no, that's, that's not what Matt's doing. As a matter of fact, that's the opposite of what Matt's doing because he's ignoring it and acting like that's not what's happening. Because basically, it helps him get free clout. So, think about that. You know, me and Matt pretty much discover the same situation on different platforms, okay? You know, I make a video about it. It, it goes, you know, pretty well. Hundreds of thousands of views. Instead of affecting people's livelihoods and blackmailing people, you know, the community that watched that video was inspired to systematically remove pedophiles from Twitter without killing everyone's income and causing an apocalypse there. And while I'm sure there's still a problem with pedophiles on the platform, it's not as bad as it was. But then Matt, he stumbles across this on YouTube, or quote-unquote stumbles across this because it's been an issue for years that people have been doing something about and that YouTube's been trying to do something about. But, uh, you know, instead of actually reporting the content that he's seeing that's offensive and disgusting instead of having people do that no he uh he decides that he's basically gonna try to become this hero and people are trying to say he's a hero because he's getting this pedophile content removed well you know where's the rest of the youtube community's hero medals too because you know we we had elsa gate that we covered and that we we cleared up and a few more times in between here and there this has popped up and we've done something about it and youtube's helped to clean it up so where was our hero medals over the last two years okay what kind of hero you know, decides to affect the livelihoods of 99.9% .9 of creators on the platform who had nothing to do with the situation. So that's just how that is, folks. I mean, let's be real honest about it. And like I said, this dude's just getting shit on left and right. And, and well, deservingly so. I mean, Matt wasn't making content before this that I know about. And if so, he's privatized all of it. That way he can further, I guess, either hide his past or really kind of gain uh, media attention and respect because of all this. And there's been a little bit of a rumor that I've seen where apparently, uh, Matt here, who's super anti-pedophile, all that, right, uh, was apparently asking teenage girls if they'd like to be in adult movies. And apparently it was a joke, but, uh, you know, doesn't really sound like something that somebody who obviously hates pedophiles so much would, would be joking about, you know? Not really an appropriate joke, I would say. Not really something I would say, especially as an adult. Wouldn't go up to like a 16-year-old and be like, hey, you, you trying to be in a porn, you know? Not not really my, uh, my forte, but yeah, Matt, you know, doesn't really look too good for you, buddy. So literally, this one guy has started the adpocalypse. Okay, and uh, with Fortnite, okay, here here I want to talk about that. Fortnite pulled all their ads from the platform. They were really the first ones to do it. So what I did in response, and of course, I'm just one person, doesn't matter. I don't, I probably don't make Epic Games even enough for them to consider it a big thing. But uh, I revoked use of my creator code because I had one set up for Fortnite in the Epic Games store, even though I don't play Fortnite. So people, you know, who played could support my content if they chose. But I deleted that from my Twitter bio. I'm going to try and find a way to get it deleted. I don't know if you can have them deleted, but I'm going to reach out and contact Epic about having it taken down. Because the way that I see it, Epic, is that if you want to back away from the platform in this moment as a knee-jerk reaction, because, I mean, they, they gotta know what's going on. They gotta know YouTube's doing something about it, but they're, they're backing out. So why would I have a code out that promotes people to give you money to support me, you know? And, and if you are one of those people, you, you know, you use creator codes and whatnot. Think about it this way, okay? You can buy a $20 Fortnite skin, okay? And, and you can give 20% of that to 
one of your just one of your favorite content creators or with that twenty dollars that you were gonna spend on a skin that you're gonna replace in two days with a brand new one you know and that you'll only in a game that you'll only play for a year you could take that twenty dollars and you could buy a twitch sub or a youtube channel membership for a month to four of your favorite creators and directly support them and they will get way more money out of that than they would if you used that creator code. I just want you guys to think about that. I encourage other people to do the same thing, just to send a message to Epic, okay? But I know people probably won't. It's gonna affect their bottom line, I understand, but that's just what I personally did. That was my personal choice. But it's a bad situation, folks. It's looking like it's gonna get even worse, unfortunately. I hate to say that, but I just don't see these advertisers pulling out in mass, stopping just because. I don't see Matt stopping, uh, basically perpetuating misinformation to uh, mainstream media and stuff, trying to act like YouTube's doing nothing about it, even though they've openly said that they are. And literally anyone who asks Team YouTube or anything, they ad they even say it's literally a big priority and that they're working on it. So yeah, basically that that's what's going on, folks. So, you know. This is a good time to support your favorite creators because God only knows how bad it's really gonna get. Shit's about to really hit the fan, folks. And I mean, this might be the real adpocalypse too, because people like to try and say, you know, the Suicide Forest thing, that was too. But uh, it, it wasn't that big. We lost a few advertisers because of, you know, some terrorist videos or something, but it was nothing big enough to even, may, even rival what this could turn out to be. I just want you guys to know YouTube is doing something about it, okay? And, uh, you know, Matt is just doing this for clout. And this whole situation has been caused by one guy. That's how easy it is, folks. Anyways, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at SubtoOptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of my new content. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. If the Adpocalypse 2.0 really is here, you know... You guys have just supported my content, and I can't thank you enough. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus getting adpocalypsed and signing out.